Ice-T was spilled onto the computer in December. It was dried out using TechDry service through Staples. It appeared to turn on and work, but upon further investigation, I found that it does not charge, it keeps logging me out, and there is a USB port error. I was able to back it up, though. I brought it to a Mac Care place for an assessment, and they said the logic board was corrupted, and either replacing it or micro-soldering would be my options. I've always wanted to see what Staples TechDry actually look like. I've always known it's a scam. And anybody who watches this channel with any degree of regularity understands that this is a scam. When you use the restroom and you take a shit, you don't dry your ass, you clean it. And when you spill something on your computer that has electricity moving through the board all the time, you don't want to dry it out, you want to remove the corrosion. So let's see what TechDry did and let's just go over why it is that Staples TechDry is a scam and why there should be some serious legal repercussions for them even offering such a service for money without refunding the customer in full for every single person who's ever paid for this. Let's get the microscope camera going. Oh man, more dry. Yeah, check that out. So this is the connector that sits between the left I.O. board for the USB ports, which she claimed were not working, and the motherboard. Look at that. See? It's all dry. That's all dry. Doesn't that look great? All right, so see that? That's Staples Tech Dry right there. That's what happens when you give Staples money for Tech Dry. Isn't this a great service? How they're legally able to offer this without getting in trouble on a mass scale is, with, is beyond me, because this is the biggest scam that you could ever imagine. And I use the word scam there in every meaning of the word. This is not bad work. This is a scam, giving people the idea that this is actually making their electronics better. And take a look at the, at the cable itself, and you'll see that it's dry. See? Look, no water there. It's technically dry. But do you want it to be dry or clean? And I would go back to the analogy that I made to taking a shit. You don't want your ass to be dry. You want your ass to be clean. So the problem here is that this board needs to get put a run through the cleaner, which I got to turn on and make it nice and warm. So I'm going to come back to this board at the end of the stream. It's going to take a while for the cleaner to heat up. But once you do that and you replace this little cable over here, this is the cable that sits between the left I.O. board and the motherboard, which is responsible for the USB port that she said wasn't working. We may have a board that works just fine. Here's the biggest problem with TechDry. Here's where I say it's a terrible scam. If you just said, I can't fix this, the consumer would continue looking for other options and they wouldn't continue using it. But if you tell the consumer here, we dried it, it's good now because it's been dried, they're going to continue using it and have bigger problems. If I tell you, you have a tumor and I can't help you with your tumor, you're going to find an oncologist and they're going to treat you. But if I tell you, yeah, here, take this little vitamin A pill and it'll get rid of your tumor, you're not going to go to the oncologist until it's too late. And then when you figure out that this cancer has spread to every area of your body, now the oncologist can't help you anymore. The reason you didn't seek appropriate help in the beginning is because you thought that the help that you received was positive help. So this is a false sense of security that actually destroys the board more. This probably could have been fixed even without an ultrasonic. This probably just could have been fixed with a Q-tip and some alcohol the day that it got there. But I may have to re-solder pins now because they kept using it because a professional told them that everything was good. And Staples is a trusted brand to some extent. They have stores all over the United States. When people walk into Staples, they don't assume that the person behind the counter is allowed to rip them off, much less looking to rip them off, but sadly in this case they are. There is absolutely no reason for a tech dry machine to be in any store in any civilized country. I think this is a systemic problem with our culture and our society, honestly. It's not even staples. Because seriously, when I was a kid, I was told that the way that you clean yourself after you take a crap is to take dried toilet paper and wipe the wet shit in your ass with dry toilet paper. And everybody just went along with this, and I thought this is f***ing ridiculous, I'm not doing that. I'm going to take the toilet paper, add a little bit of water, a drop of soap, the next one a little bit of water, the next one a little bit of water, the next one dry, and rinse and repeat until I have not a, a dry asshole, but a clean asshole. And it's just one of these basic things in hygiene. And you notice it's different in Japan because in Japan, they have toilets that will wash your asshole for you. In America, we don't have that technology, even though our debt to GDP ratio is better than Japan's, which I... It, this, this is something because we're, we're analyzing this on the wrong level. In order for Americans to understand that they're being scammed at the level of their motherboard repair, they need to understand that they're being scammed from a very young age, as early as potty training when it comes to how they clean their asshole. If we start raising our children differently, 
then they're not going to fall for scams like Tech Dry when they grow up. I can't believe people use dry toilet paper to clean feces from wet feces from their asshole. It's just why? That's why wet wipes exist. Yeah, but who uses them? Let's see what that board looks like after being cleaned in a Crest P1200 H45 Ultrasonic, available from store.rossmangroup.com. With free same-day shipping from New York, 4.9 stars on Chopper approved, and guaranteed industry low prices on Crest cleaners, you can't go wrong. Don't delay. Buy today. And these are the pins on the connector. Now, as you can see, one of those pins is entirely burned away. The pad to that pin is burned away. You see that? That pin is broken. And that's going to mess this up. The only thing that makes something like that better is cleaning it when it originally happened so it doesn't have a chance to get that bad. Alrighty, that's connected. Now we're gonna rip the excess off. Let's take a look under the microscope. And there we go. You got a lot of flux there. There's a bunch of that sticky stuff that we use for soldering, but as you can see, the, the pad is now making a good connection to the pin. And that's what we need. That's why this wasn't working properly before, because that connection was entirely corroded. And that's what happens when you use Staples Tech Dry instead of fixing the actual problem. So let's see what we get when we assemble this. See if we get something that works nicely. Okay, nice and clean. Isn't, look, good as new. That pin is making lovely contact via my jumper wire. The jumper wire is bridging the area where the liquid damage corroded the pad. And this is gonna work great. This will make a great before and after for Staples Tech Dry. Look at that. That's what this is supposed to look like. Pretty. It's really important. Let people know that this is what Staples does. Share this video. Friends don't let friends use Tech Dry. Friends make sure that their friends clean their asshole, not dry it. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. We even got rid of our old terrible merchant services provider that used to decline random transactions for no reason. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.